I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed when I saw that the brand new point-and-click adventure game Black Mirror had nothing to do with the popular British anthology television series of the same name. But then I realized that this is a reboot of a graphic adventure series that debuted all the way back in 2003 and spawned a couple of well-received sequels, so I started to get excited again. As a reboot, this game does a good job of pushing the reset button and reintroducing us to the cursed Gordon family. But as a point-and-click adventure game, Black Mirror comes up way short. Set decades before the previous three installments, Black Mirror is a slow-burn horror game that takes its cues from the stories of Edgar Allan Poe. We're introduced to David Gordon, who returns to Scotland after years abroad in order to take ownership of a creepy old castle that has been the family for centuries. He's eager to learn more about his late father, who apparently had some sort of violent mental breakdown and left the estate in disarray. It's up to David to explore the spooky castle, get to know all the people that live there, and investigate the mysteries of the Gordon clan. I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying that this is a ghost story. Our hero quickly realizes that he's able to see people and things that others can't, sort of like that kid from The Sixth Sense. And like all ghost stories, we discover that these spirits are trying to tell us something. This sets up a fun little quest to unearth the family secrets and solve the ghost problem. What we have here is a painfully straightforward graphic adventure game where you wander around the mansion picking up items, get into conversations, and solve nonsensical puzzles. A lot of this revolves around finding clues and grilling the staff for information. This eventually spills out into the garden and surrounding areas, giving David even more tools for his investigation. Black Mirror is one of those games where the setup is a lot more compelling than the payoff. The problem is the story is surprisingly predictable, to the point where I guessed would die based solely on their first few lines of dialogue. It's also not especially scary. The ghost story turns out to be sad and morbid, but never terrifying for the player. The few twists the game delivers only worked against the intriguing setup, leading to a lackluster final act. Unfortunately, the storytelling is the least of Black Mirror's problems. From a technical standpoint, this game has issues. Lots of issues. It's common to see parts of the castle walls and floors flicker in and out of existence at random times. Worse yet, I ended up having to restart the second chapter all over again because the game kept crashing on me. I got to the point where I couldn't even reload certain save files without it crashing. Couple this with the terrible frame rate problems and load times that are at least four times longer than they should be, and you have a game in serious need of patching. And then there are the controls, which I found to be even more frustrating than the constant crashes. This is a point-and-click adventure game with almost no pointing and clicking. You control David through either the keyboard or a gamepad, neither of which is as precise as you would expect. It's far too easy to get stuck in the backgrounds or not be able to interact with something because you're not facing the exact right direction. It would have been so much easier to just make it a point-and-click adventure. But instead, they made the gameplay as sluggish and unresponsive as possible. It always felt like I was fighting the game more than actually playing it. The ugly visuals and bland locations certainly doesn't help. I found wandering around the dark castle to be a real snooze, and the surrounding area isn't much better. There are a few times the game plays with reality in exciting ways, but don't blink or you might miss them. Simply put, Black Mirror looks dated. Now this is especially surprising given the developer's track record. King Art is the team behind the Book of Unwritten Tales 1 and 2, both of which are set in a fully realized fairy tale world that is just bursting with personality. They also developed The Raven, a series I wasn't that into, but it did do a better job of establishing mood and atmosphere. Black Mirror is a big step backwards for the team, especially when it comes to the puzzles and items you interact with. Neither scary nor original, Black Mirror is a painfully predictable point-and-click adventure game with nothing new to say. Even if you can get over the rampant technical problems and ugly graphics, you're still left with a by-the-book story, a cast filled with cliched characters, and a castle with barely anything to interact with. This is not the way to reboot the Black Mirror franchise. Hey, thanks for watching our review. So here's the question of the day. What classic point-and-click adventure series do you want to see get a reboot? 
There's so many good ones to choose from, but I think I might go with Blade Runner. The 1990s game had a lot of interesting ideas, and I'd love to see what they can do given the new movie and mythology. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. In other news, I'm going to be back later today with a new episode of 23 Endings, The Early Years. And then later this week, I'll be reviewing Road Rage. I recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then...